Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the motor assembly on your dishwasher and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number 20 Torx driver. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair we will need to pull the dishwasher out of the cabinets so we'll need to disconnect the power to the dishwasher, the inlet water supply, we'll need to turn it off and disconnect it, and we'll also need to disconnect the drain plus the retaining straps at the top of the dishwasher that secure it to the cabinet. Once we've done that, we'll pull the dishwasher out and then we'll lay it on its back where we can do the repair. Now our first step will be to disconnect the wire harnesses to the motor. They each have a locking tab on them, so we'll need to depress that and then gently pull the harness off. Tuck those out of the way. And next we're going to remove these two number 20 torque screws and then we'll pull that metal bracket out of the pump body. This is a spring type bracket and these tabs will fit into little slots in the base of the pump. We'll set that aside. Now next we're just going to grasp that pump and we're going to twist it back and forth to break it free and then we'll pull it completely out of the pump body. And make sure both of the O-rings come off the old pump. Now before we install the new motor it does come with two O-rings and a large one will fit in this groove right up close to the front of the motor. So we're just going to roll that into position. Make sure it's seated in that groove. And then the smaller one will fit into a groove down by the impeller. And we'll also want to clean out this area where the motor is going to fit, make sure that there's no crud or broken glass or anything that will impair how those O-rings will seat. So we'll clean that area out first. And it's a good idea to put a little bit of water on those O-rings so that they'll slide in there easier. So we're going to line that motor up, just fit it into that opening, and then just work it back and forth until that flange seats tight. Make sure we line up the harness connections facing forward. We'll next take that spring clip Slide it into those two grooves in the side of the motor. Press it into place. We'll reinstall the two retaining screws. And if you were able to remove the old sound insulation from the old motor and it is reusable, you could re-adhere that to the new motor or you could just leave it as it is. The motor will work fine without it. We'll then reconnect the wire harness connectors at the front. Making sure that the locking tabs engage. And now we're ready to tilt the dishwasher back up onto its legs and then we can put it back into the cabinet. Now we can next push the dishwasher back into the cabinets, secure it to the bottom of the countertop. We'll reconnect our inlet water supply and our power, reconnect the drain, and our repair is complete.